Hi there. I'm back with another food crime. This one seems more almost like just a self-inflicted torture, but well, I guess we'll find out together, won't we? I saw a little while ago, went around on, on the virals, uh, about a new sour ball called the Black Death uh, by a candy company in the UK called Mr. Sims. I don't live in the UK anymore, uh, but I know someone who does. So I asked them to ship me uh, some Black Death by the Mr. Sims Candy Company. Here they are, a whole, just a whole pack of them. They also sent me some other stuff that is apparently far less sour. It's just down here. There we go, right there. Uh, that are far less sour, apparently. I got curious about something uh, because these look awfully familiar uh, to like the other ones that I have back there. And so I asked this person, and I'm like, hey, is Mr. Sims like owned by Barnett's? Uh, which is who made those and uh as it turns out barnett's actually does supply mr sims with their the black death just happens to be a uh, uh production exclusive for mr sims um and the reason i figured this all out is because on the variety pack that you can get from mr sims except they're out right now has a sour scale on it and the bottom one the least sour in that pack are zombie balls which are, is what's in there the black one there and that's concerning because they're pretty sour <laughs> they are admittedly a pretty pretty sour venture and they're at the bottom of the scale and these are at the top of the scale now the scale is kind of wild and i have no idea how it, it, they're measuring it those the zombie balls are like 100 to 999 units sour per square millimeter or something i don't know i don't know what the unit is um but these ones are like seven thousand. so there's a magnitude difference there that's got me concerned i'm also vaguely worried that these are going to be licorice flavored uh underneath which is going to be a goddamn shame because i hate black licorice uh with a passion but i said if i got them i would make this video and here i am so I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off. We're gonna do it. So, open the package. The package is open. Oh god, it's like double sealed. Well, that didn't open properly. Okay, well, now we're just shredding the bag open. All right. It even looks vicious. That is so much more. Like, maybe it's just the amount of sour stuff, you know? Huh. It just kind of smells vaguely citrusy, like, but not like a lemon citrus or an orange citrus, just like almost like cleaner <laughs> citrus. I don't know. Anyway, oh man, I'm like sweaty. I got a little bit of water. This is probably not enough water, if I'm being honest. But here we go. Oh. It just burns. Wow. I mean, it's, it's sour. No doubt. I'm starting to think I might be broken. I think all the dumb sour challenges that I have done at this point have, uh, have ruined me. I was like, yeah, that was actually, that was interesting because that was actually almost so sour. My tongue is burnt that's fun that the sour doesn't hit me the same way i can tell that it is sour but it's almost more like it's burning which makes sense since it's basically an acid <laughs> um no not basically it is an acid that causes that sour burning sensation it's like citric acid and, and i want to say maltic in some cases i'd have to look at the actual ingredients list for this i'd be interested to know but like there's just so much of it on there it just kind of burns. So I actually wonder if these have gone too far to the direction that like, it just kind of skips sour and goes straight to burning. And perhaps stepping down a couple scales would actually elicit more of a genuine, ooh, that sour response. But uh, also the sour on these 
doesn't last as long as like even those over there. And I think, I think that's literally because there's so much of the sour material on it that as you put it in your mouth, a lot of it just gets pulled off directly into your spit. So it doesn't have the same staying power. And also the candy itself, all right, uh, 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 is not sour. So there's no sourness imbued into the candy itself. It's just the coating. The candy is actually nice. It is actually like a lemon drop uh, at the end, uh, the tail end of it. Kind of want to crack it open and see if there's a middle. All right, there we go. Huh. Nope, no middle. Just honestly, just kind of a good boiled sweet like lemon flavor. That's actually quite quite nice, quite delightful. Well, there you go. Apparently, I might just be broken. <laughs> is this what happens to like hot sauce people? You know, people who are really into hot sauces and they keep stepping up because uh, part of them has died inside and they have to keep chasing the dragon. So they keep eating hotter and hotter things just to get that response. Is that what has happened to me now? Because, I mean, I just ate one of those and like, I think I handled it pretty well. Given the videos I saw on the internet of uh, other people trying these and like spitting it out, having a gag reflex, like just losing their gourd. <laughs> and my response was just like, oh, yeah, maybe it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. I'm I'm glad I have these. I can now add them to my uh, stream punishments because they are sour. They, they still will be a punishment. I don't know what to say. That's it. That was really nice candy at the end. It's actually one of the big differences I would say between this and like the uh, toxic waste. The toxic waste are sour on the outside, but the, the candy itself is also sour. And I think I mean, some of them have like a sour center too. So like you keep getting hit with layers of sour as you're going. Whereas the Mr. Sims and the Barnets, at least the Barnets blue. Uh, once you work past the sour stuff, you just you just have a normal candy at the end of it. The zombie balls, at the very least, are spicy. So, like, there's still this layer of punishment to them. Um, but these, yeah, once once you've weathered the storm such that it is, uh, you end up with just a nice candy at the end. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm so stoked to have a nice candy after eating the sour thing. But that was not as bad as I expected it to be, given all the hype around it. And I mean, ain't that always the way. That's gonna do it for me. I would like to say uh, thank you uh, to Murph for being so kind as to uh, mail these to me. I mean, I did uh, pay <laughs> to pay for the shipping and all that. It wasn't just a gift, um, but thank you for, for being available to send these to me. I appreciate it. Uh, as well as the, the Plague Carrier cards. They now live on my shelf. That was a fun little touch. Um, and I guess, uh, hey, Mr. Sims and or Barnets, if you've got something like wicked sour you want to like test and drive uh hit me up apparently i am dead inside uh because this was nothing if you're gonna step it up please by all means get in contact with me i would love to be humbled by some sour candy um but that is gonna do it for uh this little installment of food crimes thank you of course for watching uh like subscribe all that fun stuff until next time stay safe have fun be kind and try your best out there Bye-bye.